to another video in today's video i'm gonna be training as well as reading some of your star stable or not all the most stress stable related questions and for information i did record this video earlier this footage is from earlier but for some reason my voice recording did not sound great at all so here i am doing a kind of voiceover thing and i'll still be answering your questions because i don't want to record this all over again so let's go into the video because again I'm still trying to the intros voiceover or not all right the so first thing I gotta do is actually change my horse because I was um riding a level 15 horse in my intro I don't know why I was in Donna Valley I think I explained it in the recording I did before this that sounded really awkward but uh, I was filming my intro and I hope you guys like the new intro I got a lot of positive feedback on my intro video I uploaded like I don't know how many days ago it'll be when this video is uploaded, but I think you guys like it. I love it too. So now I'm gonna start with the Fergal braces and actually answer your questions. So let us begin with the questions. Do you ride horses in real life? If so, what discipline do you do? I don't ride horses in real life. I really do want to. And if I and if I did ride, I do. I feel like I would do the riding just for fun. You know, I do a little bit of this, a little bit of that. And what is your favorite breed and color horse? If you ask this in real life, I would tell it was a just black horse because I really prefer that kind. Of, but I'm not too picky on horse colors. I prefer personality. But if you ask how my favorite one is, it would have to be just black. But in Star Stable, it would have to be the gray. Do you ask breed too? I can do this one. Um, so my favorite breed in real life would have to be thoroughbreds. Because I'm just like the first horse breed I've ever heard of, and I still like them. In Star Stable, it have to be the Andalusians. So again, it's different in both in-game and IRL. I don't know which one you referred to, so I just answered for both. Can we meet in Esso? By the way, I love you, but you're the best. We can meet in Esso if either if you're on Firestar, which is an Australian server, or Snowflake Meadow, which my alt account is on. It's actually my brother's account because he's the only one who plays on that account anymore. Okay, if you see me in the episode, then don't forget to say, you know, don't have to, stay to say hi. It's completely fine. So, yeah, you can meet me in Star Stable. It's fine. What's your favorite quest not counting story quest? In story quest here, yeah, I would say it was um, the one quest with the Yidris. The riderless horse. I pretty sh I'm pretty sure it would be that. I mean, of course, if you count story quest, I have plenty. I have a long list, but that quest looks so nostalgic. I don't know why I like it, but I'm pretty sure it's the riderless horse. If you're asking my favorite bre um, favorite quest, it's not a story quest. So yeah, that is my favorite, not story quest. What is a fair pet in game? My favorite pet would either have to be the Earl Grey cat when I'm the Christmas calendar because if I I don't really use pets all that much, but it had to be the one I use the most. So it had to be the Earl Grey. I don't I don't know that's the name Earl Grey. I'm not sure, but yeah, it had to be that one. But I also really like the mattress that came with Selena and Com Camp Campo. Um, Camp. Campo. All right. Um, it had one. And it had to be one of. Uh, it, it could have to be one of those. Cause I don't really have. I don't have any manta rays because a. I do not like turning nine campos at all. I honestly, they should be in a horror movie set because they do not have eyeballs. But the pets are nice. I'm. I'm sorry if you do like the turning nine campos. It's just my opinion on it. If you do ride the horse, that is totally fine. I, I don't know why I'm talking about Kalina and Campos, whatever his name is, when it's like two weeks past their update day. 
right now it's midsummer in stress table and i do like midsummer it's just like i did last year and like whenever i do quests more than once it gets kind of repetitive so that's my opinion about midsummer but back then in 2019 i did not have star ladder during midsummer i used to stick like, log on and just spend the whole time at midsummer festival and i did not make any flower crowns i just did not know how so that's right about midsummer back then and this question is about my favorite pet. I don't know how I got to talk about Midsummer, but let's, let's keep on. Favorite champ. If I had to choose one favorite champ, I don't really do champs that much. But if I had to choose a favorite champ, I just choose the new Hillcrest champ. Because that's the latest champ I unlocked. And it's just fun and challenging at the same time. And a lot of people don't like it. But in my opinion, the new Hillcrest champ is my favorite. And for my least favorite champ, it would have to be... Yeah. Baldale, because you had to jump to those log, log thingies. I don't know, I like that. Connemara or your pony? Connemara. What is your favorite color? My favorite color has to be purple, but I lean towards more darker purple shades. I mean, I've got nothing against the lighter purples, but I just prefer the darker ones, and I've got nothing against like dark blue either. So, yeah, dark purple in second place, dark blue. If you have an update one thing, what would it be? I know a lot of things I want to update, but if I had to choose something that I to update, like for example next Wednesday, then I would choose uh, then for that for them to update all the woods and Valdale maybe. But that place when it's updated, I think it'd be so pretty if they just updated it. So I had an update for Grove and Valdale, but then I have so many more things like new bell boots, new like blanket and you know all that stuff but yeah one thing it, it's gonna be about it who is a fair soul writer <laughs> so this is pretty obvious i'm pretty sure but i know i said it on camera before but my first writer is alex and i she, she, i'm her biggest fan I'm not gonna go as far as say that I'm obsessed with her. No, because that's just creepy. Who is your favorite SSO editor? If you're talking about like art, I would choose either Donna Moonhill or Bella Bird River. It had been one of them. If I take talking about fair art editor, but if it was um like a video editor, I would choose Lil X Black Magic dot X. I'm pretty sure that's how you say her name. Are you a potato? No, I'm not a potato. So yesterday, me and my friend were on call, and we were filming my intro. And I'm pretty sure at one point we forgot we were pre- we were filming an intro at all, and we just goofed off. And then we had stuck our heads to the star shine right ceiling. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the whole server thought we were mad. So that's that. That was fun times. Fun times. Favorite area in Star Stable. If you asked me this a week ago, I would have said Golden Hills, but now I'm kind of tired of Golden Hills. That's why I moved my home table to Fergo, so it have to be Fergo right now. And in a close second comes Epona. So I have a lot of air that I would start with the update. Greendale is pretty nice too. Yeah, so I think Fergo or Nihilcrest. It have one of those. What server are you on? I am on Firestar, which is an Australian server. I've actually been to all the servers in my region except Sunbeam Palace. I've been to Magnolia Jungle. I, I, I was on Magnolia Jungle until recently I moved. And I was in Panda Valley, but I haven't stayed there for long. So, yeah. And I'm also on the North American servers. My Altacon, I just move around on, on, Alta, on my Altacon. I just move around servers there. Why is Chase your channel mascot? Why not Winnie or Belle? So this question wasn't asked by someone on Instagram. It was asked by my friend. And I just typed on Instagram to get this screenshot. But she asked this question. and um, Do I have a concrete answer for this? No, I don't. But um, I know it started when I took that photo. I don't know if you, any of you guys remember it. It was from a few months back. I think it was 19. But... Yeah, it was from a few months back. It was a picture I tried to take of Chase hugging me. 
and then it didn't come out the way I expected but it didn't come out too bad either so I used it for my channel icon and then I decided like you know why not I'll just make chase my channel mascot and then she started my last intro and in the, in the new one she, she didn't star she was in there but it was mostly about like random fun funny things I was doing so yeah that's how Chase be became my channel mascot I think she's very suitable and I don't think I'll be changing it anytime soon how are you and do you think there are any underrated youtubers if so who first of all I'm fine thank you a bit bored but yeah I'm fine I think there are like thousands and thousands of underrated star stable youtubers out there but the top three I can think of off of my head are Caroline of Firefish and Lola of Ball Wait, that was only two okay I'm sorry Caroline of Firefish and Lola of Ball which is, those two are the only ones I can think of I do have a lot of your youtubers but not them as underrated I mean Autumn Polar Bridge used to be really underrated but now she's in the attention she deserves Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys liked it. If you didn't, please smash the like button and subscribe for more content like this. I really appreciate your comments. I read all of them. So I hope you guys. I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye.